All right, so this is uh, a big day. It's um, mid-April. We're heading out to actually do work on the job site. Pretty excited. We're going to be doing a deck or putting a porch roof over an existing deck that I had built a few years ago that is cantilevered. Should be really intriguing. Let's go see it. Let's also see how my load looks. This is how it looks now, all nice and neat. We'll see how it looks after we get onto the job site. With frost heaves and bumpy roads. All right, we made it. Let's see how the road, the, the load rode. <laughs> I did not spare the horses. I went through some S curves, hairpin turns, frost heaves. Looks good. Come on in, we'll take a look. Okay, all the batteries are still intact that were on there. Those ladders didn't fall. Oh, I see one step ladder that fell off. Let's go to the side door. See if anything falls out. <laughs> nope. Okay. So we had three six foot step ladders up there, uh, which is pushing it as far as how much it would hold. It wasn't a long enough uh, stake up there. All of the shovels and rakes, everything stayed in place. The boots stayed on. That is awesome. All right, let's go look at what we're going to do today. So here you can see we have a, it's a cantilever deck. Sticks out six, uh, six feet. We put the Floor joists, uh, they're two by 12s, 16 on center, all the way across there. So a critical rule of thumb when cantilevering a deck is for every foot that you come out, you need to go back into the building two feet. So if we're out six, theoretically, we'd be in uh, double that. So it'd be 12 feet. Well, these are 16 foot two by 12s, so we're pretty, pretty safe. And this is, by the way, just way overkill uh, when I built this. I think we built it three years ago with the intent of if that was to be an option down the road to put a, a porch roof over it, it could be done. It also would handle the snow load that would come off that upper roof weight-wise. What we found was the snow tended to push on the balusters up here. So we're going to put a roof up here. So we'll get to it. So we'll be doing a little destructing while we're here um, in order to, to construct. So uh, a couple things we have to change. This um, four by four has to come off because it's too short. So we'll cut that away. Um, I'll probably take this down, but it looked to me like water because it was sitting flat. Water was kind of going back to the uh, framework. So we'll slope that a little bit for them. It just takes a minute. We'll just put a spacer in here to, to bring that, that end down so that when water comes on, it'll drip out here instead of up against the house. Eyewear, earwear, check. <laughs> All right. Can't use this arm yet. Uh, <clears throat> another point of interest for cantilevering six feet, a two by six, 16 on center would have been enough. These are two by 12, so that's more than enough to handle the roof and the deck and the snow load.
I love that rocking chair. Oh, old guy going over there. There's like no bounce on this. I love that. So this was designed actually to be removable in case they wanted to put furniture up here. Just this side, mostly. And the other side. a bigger instrument to loosen that up. Also got to take my sweatshirt off. Pretty hot today. It's almost 70. <laughs> we need something a little more powerful. screw those are I forgot I'd use screws I thought they were nails they're a, a ceramic coated so they're they'll never rust out and they're made for pressure treated so we'll get those from a ladder down below So that will take a sledgehammer blast to just knock it over. Some of the screws are in too far for me to back them out. So as a part of contracting, I have to leave now. I have to go price out, get, a, get some more prices from the lumber yard for pressure treated because we're doing, doing this as well. We're, we're doing a porch out front and a deck. And then we're doing another uh, deck on another house so I need to get some pricing and lock in some numbers for that. Hey, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Please subscribe, hit the like button, feel free to make a comment. I'll be sure to comment back to you, thanks.